Hello, everyone. Merry Christmas. This is Miss Connie, and I am here for St. Anne's first reading of the, from the 12 days of Christmas. Every day over the next 12 days, we will be reading a story from you, a Christmas story for you. Um, as you can see, I have my manger scene, my crush behind me, and there's a stable there with Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus. I have an angel with the shepherds and some sheep and some, some barn animals. You see in the distance, the three wise men riding in on camels. They haven't made it yet to the baby Jesus. We celebrate the day when the Magi get to the manger scene. It's called the Day of Epiphany. And that happens after the 12th day of Christmas. So I'd like to share with you this story. It is written by, um, it's called the Twas the Evening of Christmas, and it's written by Glennis Nellis, and it's illustrated by Elena Selivanova. This book was taken from the Gospel according to Luke from the second chapter verses 10 to 11. And I think you may have heard this before. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This book was published by HarperCollins in 2007. It was the evening of Christmas. It was the evening of Christmas when all through the town, every inn was so crowded, no room could be found. Tired Mary and Joseph, who went door to door, at last found a place on a small stable store floor. Thank goodness, said Mary, who tiptoed inside. The mice saw the donkey and scurried to hide. The rest of the creatures all cuddled up tight in hopes that they might have a calm, peaceful night. The pigeons were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of breadcrumbs danced round in their heads. The cows closed their eyes and the oxen laid down. The doves cooed so gently, the lambs made no sound. The moon through the trees was just starting to glow with a glimmer of light on the stable below. When quite, quite by surprise came a newborn baby's cry that woke all the animals sleeping nearby. Up jumped the cows and the oxen and sheep, all propped the pigeons aroused from their sleep. They all came to gaze at the small baby boy as his mama and papa hugged him with joy. Now donkeys, now cows, now pigeons and sheep, now oxen and mice in the manger did peep. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples so sweet, as they nuzzled his fingers and cute little feet. And out in the fields, taking care of their sheep. Some shepherds were getting ready to sleep when all of a sudden they had such a fright as a whole choir of angels lit up the night. But the song of the angels, the words that they said, soon let the men know that they had nothing to dread. Dear shepherds, it's wonderful news what we bring. A savior is born. He is Jesus, the king. They ran to the stables and peeked through the door and saw something never imagined before. 
there in a manger, a baby boy lay. No blankets, no pillows, his bed made of hay. And to the small stable came three splendid kings with gifts for the baby, all beautiful things. They jumped from their camels and knelt at his feet with frankincense, gold, and myrrh that smelled sweet. The stable was filled with a wonderful light as the star above Bethlehem twinkled so bright. And high in the heavens, God whispered, My son, you'll bring hope to the world and love everyone. Then back in their, to their slumbers, the animals curled, amazed that this baby who had entered their world. As Mary and Joseph got ready for bed, they snuggled their baby and kissed his sweet head. As Mary laid Jesus asleep in the hay, she thought about all that had happened that day. The mice heard her whisper as she tucked him in tight. Merry Christmas, my son, and to all, good night. I'm wondering, this story is, has a white page at the end here, and that page is yet to be written. I wonder what you would write on this page about that story that we just heard. Twas the evening of Christmas when baby Jesus was born. Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope to see you tomorrow when we will read another story.